Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm one of your group program managers and personal trainers at Vita Fitness. Today's focus is the arms. So we're gonna spend a short time today focusing on the front of the arm or the biceps and the back of the arm or the triceps. These two sets of muscles are always working together to produce movement above your elbow. So it's really important that we strength train and stretch these muscles in a very balanced and targeted way. The way today's workout is going to flow is that we'll have three minute blocks of time where we're going to be alternating between a biceps driven and a triceps driven move, going back and forth from one exercise to the other. If you're focused on bulking up or loading up your arms, then you're going to select slightly heavier weights. Your movements are going to typically be slower and you're going to take a little extra time in your transitions to let those muscles recover. If load doesn't matter to you, feel more than welcome to select medium to lighter weights, have slightly quicker movements, and don't worry about that transition, just go back and forth. Your first group of exercises is a hammer curl, superset it with a triceps dip. So go ahead and grab those weights and let's set up. I'm going to go heavy on my hammer curls and then the tricep dips we don't need weights for. So you're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're going to do 10 to 15 reps of hammer curls. Let's retract the shoulders, tuck in the elbows. The weights start right beside the, uh, the legs. Engage your abs and go ahead and give me 10 to 15 reps of your hammer curls. Okay, thumbs up. You're gonna take the weights from the outer thigh all the way up to the shoulder and the focus is pinning the elbows into the side. So that was three for me, four, five, keep going. So notice how I'm not leaning back. I'm really focusing the movement above the elbow, keeping the shoulders locked. Excellent. Give me a few more if you can with those heavier weights if you're bulking, medium to light weights if you don't care. And when you're done, squat down, put your weights down. You're gonna use a chair or a ledge or a couch to do tricep dips now. Go ahead and uh, bring your hips right off the edge of your chair, step, or stool. Elbows are gonna fold high and back, yes. Okay, so I have a bent knee position. You can also go straight legs. You can cross one leg, you can go one leg, it's up to you. But the goal, keep going. The goal is to drop your body until you can show a 90 degree angle right at the elbows. Okay, you wanna do 10 to 15 of these. When you've done that, go back to your hammer curls. We have about one more minute. So let's try to get one more set of each of these exercises in. Okay, one minute to go. Two, three, good, four. Keeping the core nice and stable. Shoulders back, elbows pinned in, full range from the thigh up to the shoulder. I'm gonna do two more. Excellent. Okay, I have about 30 seconds. Let's try to knock out one more set of triceps dips. two, three, four. So I'm letting my arm generate force and movement, not trying to push with the hips or even the heels. Sometimes those legs want to overpower the arms. We have 10 seconds. I'm just going to finish off here. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Fingers down to stretch the biceps fingers up to give a quick tricep stretch. All right, our next set is a seated preacher curl followed by a triceps kickback, okay? I'm gonna go heavier on my preacher curls. I'm gonna sit with wide legs. I'm gonna pin my elbows into my inner thighs. I'm gonna hinge forward and pull those weights up toward the center of the chest. Then I'm gonna select lighter weights for my kickbacks, hinge over, pull the elbows high, 
even higher than the back and run the weight from my thigh, which is a 90 degree angle at the elbow, into a fly back or a 180, so 90 to 180. Let's start with the preacher curls. I'm going heavy again. Okay, ready? Go ahead and tuck those elbows in. Give me a hinge, but don't hunch. Shoulders back. Let's run the weights from the ankle up to the chest. You're gonna give me 10 to 15 of these. Again, if you have heavier weights, go slower. If you have lighter weights, you're gonna go a little faster. Okay, six for me. You can also alternate. Just make sure you're still doing 10 to 15 on each side. I'm gonna do two more. Awesome. Tricep kickbacks. You go ahead and pick whatever weights. Remember, we are going for balance. So if you went heavy on the hammers, you can go a little heavier on the tricep kickbacks, or you can go lighter and make up the weight on the next move. It's up to you. Okay, so I'm hinged over, elbows high. Now, on these kickbacks, these kickbacks are real funny. Why? You guys keep going. I'm gonna just focus in on one arm. Your wrist, your shoulder, your back, all these other joints and muscles wanna get involved in this tricep kickback. But no, we're gonna keep the shoulder stationary. We're gonna keep the uh, wrist neutral, which means no movement here. And we're just going to move at the elbow. Okay, kicking back. Really isolating the triceps. So when we start to move that wrist, then we take the workout from the triceps and we put it on that wrist area. Okay, I'm gonna do two more. Actually, I'm gonna switch side because I only did one side, so 10. Nine, eight, seven. You can switch if you did the right thing and use both weights. Three, two, one. We have about a minute left. Let's try to get one more set of each of these exercises in. Okay, let's go for it. One, two, three, four. Nice, sturdy upper body, even though we're hinged. Six, seven. Eight, elbows pinned in, nine, 10. Okay, I'll use both weights this time. Okay, elbows high, knuckles down. One, stopping right at the outer thigh. Three, four, five. I want you to really feel that extension. Really feel that triceps working at the top. We have 15 seconds. Neutral neck, that means just kind of let your neck stay in line with your chest. We have five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, give me that quick little triceps and bicep stretch by pulling on the fingers. Okay, you wanna spend about 10 seconds on each arm doing each stretch, okay? Next up, we have a standing wide curl, and then we have an overhead extension. So with your standing wide curl, of course you're standing, your elbows are in, but now we're gonna turn those arms out. Okay, we're gonna take the knuckles toward the leg, and then pull the knuckles up toward the shoulder. Then we're gonna go into an overhead extension. I would go heavy on this, it's up to you. You're gonna give me a split stance, Elbows up, arms up. The weight is going to be pressed toward the ceiling, not toward the front. So let's start with those standing wide curls. I've been going heavy this whole time, so I'm going light on this round. Okay, elbows in. Give me 10 to 15 reps. Remember, take the wrist out of the equation. Let's go. Up, down. So notice, we went straight up the center with the hammer curls. On the preacher curls, we turn those arms in, focusing on the very inside edge of the biceps, and now we're turned out. So we're hitting that entire round muscle. It's important that we always try to get full range, and that's from high to low, but that's also sometimes lateral, from inside to outside or from side to side. 
I'm gonna do two more of these. Then I'm gonna grab a heavy, one or two heavies, split my stance to support my back. I'm gonna let this weight fall behind my head, keeping my elbows tight to the head and up, and I'm gonna push straight up, one. So I'm looking for straight arms at the top. Straight arms, four, five. Now, if you feel any strain or load on your lower back, I want you to over-engage your glutes, squeeze them super tight, over-engage your abs. You're also going to relax your neck. Sometimes that neck has a tendency to kind of crash forward to create space for the weight. What I'm gonna tell you to do is just pull the weight further back. I'm gonna do two more, two, one. Okay, have about a minute and a half. So let's sneak as many reps of these wide curls and overhead extensions as we can. Let's go, one, two. Now remember, I have lighter weights this round, so I can go a bit quicker than I was going before with the heavier weights. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do five more. And don't be afraid to alter the focus even within the same workout. So you see I went heavier and slower in the beginning. Now I'm going lighter and faster and all that's okay. I'm gonna go for it on this last set with these overhead extensions. I'm gonna go two heavies. Let's see. All right, let's knock this out. We have 30 seconds. One, oh, two, three. No matter what the load is, the technique does not change, okay? So if I go heavier, that doesn't mean I get to use my lower back and I get to let my elbows turn out. That means you have to keep the same proper form and force the body to adapt. If you cannot do that, that's a signal that you need to decrease your load and focus back in on the basics. Three, two, one. Give me that nice little stretch for the front and the back of the arm. We just have one more combo to do. This combo is a pulsing biceps curl. So we're gonna stop right at about the belly line with any size weights that you want. You're gonna give me 10 to 15 pulses. That's about two inches lift, two inches worth of drop. And then you're gonna give me triceps push-ups. Those can be on your knees or your toes. So we have about 30 seconds, continue stretching, shake out those arms, and let's knock out this last combo. I think I'm gonna go heavy. What are you gonna choose? <laughs> All right, I have 10 seconds to make the decision. Go ahead and tuck those elbows in. Your palms are up. Meet me at the belly line. Ready? Let's go, one, two. So let the elbow work the arm, not the back, not the wrists. Those elbows don't shift, they stay tucked in. I'm gonna do five more, four, three, two, one. Triceps push up on the toes or on the knees. Either way, we set up like we're doing a plank, our elbows fold toward the body and up. Two, three. I'm allowing my chest and my hips to lower and lift at the same pace. I'm gonna do two more. Two, one. Okay, we have about two minutes. Let's try to get at least two more sets of each of these exercises in. I think we can make that push and even get three more sets. So let's give it a try. Two, three, two inches up above the belly, two inches down below the belly. Five, four, three, two, one. If you're doing your triceps push ups on your knees, I'm going to show that. Stay on your toes if you can, but if you're on your knees, same goes. Elbows tight, lead down with the chest. Let those elbows crash high. Try not to touch the stomach to the floor. Five, four, 
three, two, one. One minute, 15 seconds. Can we sneak two more in? Let's see. Right, 10 here, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's bust these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, woo, nine. Come on, dad. 40 seconds. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, this is your final combo. Let's make the push right here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 30 seconds, knees or toes, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that ninth one always gets me. Nine, and dead. Woo, five seconds. Just roll it out. I think, we, I think we're good. Okay. Little bicep stretch. That felt incredible. I hope you feel those biceps and triceps working. Okay. It's really important that you always focus on the technique first. That's why I spend so much time talking you through that. And each time, give me a little tricep stretch. Each time you do this video or this workout, I want you to pay less attention to my words and really try to create that muscle memory on your own. So try to remember the lessons that we discussed in this video. Take this anywhere you go, whether it's in the gym or back with me on video or in a class, and really hone that technique. It's going to maximize the results and the benefits you get out of your arm workout. I had an incredible time today. Happy soreness.